Hey guys, this is Brian from Wilson West. I want to be the executive officer on the Crimean operation. I'm going to do a quick presentation on how to identify Russian forces you might see in the area. So, we got camouflage. Digital Forest, CIFRA, is the, is the standard issue uh, camouflage within the Russian armed forces. It is used by Army, Marines, Naval Infantry, and VDV or paratroopers. Moving on, we got the Partisan or SS Summer. It's based off of World War II German camouflage used by the SS and is very popular among FSB and MVD. Along with Brez Consumer Act, which is also popular among FSB and MVD. So, we got weapons now. This is the AK 74M. This is a standard issue rifle among the Russian Armed Forces and the most common one we will see. It features a side folding buttstock, shoots a 545 round out of a 30 round magazine. The distinctive feature of this weapon is the gas tube and the muzzle brake. In addition, we might run into the AKS 74 variants, which features instead of a polymer side folding buttstock, a stamped steel buttstock. In addition, this can take a GP-25 or GP-30 undergo grenade launcher mounted right here. This is the AK-104. It's part of a newer, updated line of AKs called the AK-100 series. It's shorter than an AK-74M. We can tell by the distinctive gas tube and muzzle brake, as well as shoots a 7.62 round out of a 30 round magazine. This is, you can tell this is a 7.62 magazine because of the steeper curvature of the magazine. All right, now we got the asphalt. This is an integrally suppressed assault rifle. It's very distinctive looking. It's very similar to what's known as the VSS Venturez. The big difference between the two is the VSS, instead of a side folding steel buttstock, features a solid wood buttstock. They both feature a 20 round magazine and shoot a 9x39 uh, round. Now we got the PPM. This is the standard issue medium machine gun in the Russian Armed Forces. It's very common. We're going to see this in either once or twice in 9-man infantry squads. It shoots a 7.62 by 54R round. It's belt fed and features a 100 round box magazine. It's very lightweight, weighs about 17 pounds, which is 10 pounds lighter than an M240. All right, so enemy identification. We're gonna start off with naval infantry and marines. As you can tell, they all have digital four gear and they all look very identical. They were they were very wearing standard issue uniforms and gear, as well as standard issue rifles such as the AK one AK seventy four M and PTM. Another shot of naval infantry, you can know, tell they all look the same, they're all wearing standardized equipment. In contrast, we got the Federal Security Service, known as the FSB. These are going to be the elite units in the area. They, these guys are older, they've all done a compulsory term of service within the Russian military, and then invited into these elite units. They all are going to wear different uniforms, different equipment, and might have different weapon systems. Should not take this for a lack of discipline. They're very disciplined, they're highly trained, and very well equipped. In addition, these are the verbal commands we might see on the battlefield. So we're going to start off with divide. This can literally mean anything. In Army lingo, this will be like hula, but literally it means give it to me or come on, let's go. We got next, Vago B. This is literally enemy down. It's going to be once a Russian soldier eliminates a threat, he's going to yell Virago beat, and this is going to be echoed by the rest of his uh, unit. Now we got Vragna Leva or Vragna Prava, which is enemy left, enemy right. As we would understand, it's contact left or contact right. Now we got Sani, which is just medic. I hope this presentation has been helpful in giving you a better understanding of the Russian military. In practical terms, this should help you give more, better and more accurate slew reports to hire in the upcoming Crimean operation. Remember, Vikings. March or don't.